Hey everyone, Tech here. Welcome to Tech's Tavern. Grab a brew, pull up a chair, and let's do a quick look video at Project Zomboid. Now, I'm sure many of you have probably heard about this game. It's gotten a fairly good amount of word of mouth lately um, through the Steam Greenlight project. It's um, Currently you can only get onto Shora, but it will be on Steam uh, coming up pretty soon on their early access program. Uh, but currently, it's still in alpha state. Um, it has some rough ages. Doesn't have um, uh, it's like it doesn't have a lot of menu options. You know, some weird things here and there going on. Um, a lot of work going on. This particular uh, video is being made with, I believe, it's build five. I think. Um, so I'm not even sure if it's the na latest version. I'm, I did get this on Deshora. Um, as you guys know from my past videos, I pretty much only use Steam, but I've actually kind of bent a little bit now and used Ashura since they do so many uh, indie DRM free type stuff, so I really want to support that, so that I'm using Ashura now um, as well as Steam. So anyway, I'll get into this. It's kind of what this game is, and I'll just go ahead and get into it to kind of describe it a little bit here. Um, We'll make a character here first. Um, it has a couple little like templates that you can choose from. Um, I don't know if they're going to be adding... Uh, well, it says many more to come in future updates. I guess that answers that question before I say something stupid. Um, but you can uh, pick your uh, kind of initial build, so to speak. So um, we'll go with the... Uh, let's go with the police officer. No... Let's see, what else we got? Night Owl. What's Night Owl? Requires little sleep, stays extra alert even when sleeping. Hey, that sounds good. We'll go with that. And then it has um, some available traits here with the old, you know, classic RPG kind of plus minus system where you can kind of give your guys some bad traits, but that will then enable you to get uh, good traits. So, um, we take a look here. Um... Let's see, he can be, uh, well, some of those, I don't know, we'll, we'll, won't mess with any of that stuff right now. Okay, so once you get in game here, you can kind of see, usually it starts you, from my experience so far, it usually starts you in a room of a house or a building somewhere. So you can kind of get an initial little bit of stuff. Oh, we got some boards, uh, nails, and a hammer. Um, okay, it looks like I'm in a shed. Um, you move around with the WASD. Um, it shows a time up in the top corner. You can actually pause time, speed time up. Um, shift is to run. Um, what this is, though, is it's kind of an isometric overhead uh, daisy single player game, sort of. With a kind of an old school RPG type setup. Um, we'll go in here and just kind of look around, see if we can find some stuff here. I'm not sure what that sound is. I don't know if that's an alarm system. I think I'm gonna get out of here. I've never heard that before. And it's getting quieter. I think that's an alarm system on the house or something. It's definitely going to attract some zombies. Let's go check this out. <laughs> Sorry about that. They kind of... Oh, no. Zombies. I don't really have anything to fight them with, so I'm just going to leave out of there. Controls take a little getting used to sometimes for me, just because of the way it kind of controls it. Like reminds me of like Crusader No Remorse or something, the way it's kind of angled with the controls. Let's get in here and see if we can find anything uh, interesting. Alright. Ooh, we got a bunch of drugs. We got antidepressants, beta blockers, and sleeping tablets. Alright, I don't need the sleeping tablets. Now, and you can... Uh-oh. I think, um... I think the zo I saw the zombies through the window and they're freaking me out or something. Um, I think, I'm trying to see how I, I can, okay, there we go, you can like barricade windows up, but I think that's making noise, because the zombie's coming over and looking at me, 
So maybe that wasn't a greatest idea. And I got some kind of status. I'm panicked. Panicked. That's never good. Some bag of chips. Get some other food stuff here. Let's just kind of look through all these, see what we can find. Shotgun shells and whiskey. A great combination in any apocalypse. A pen. You can use that to, um, to uh, add with paper to make a diary, which I guess helps with boredom or something to that effect. Um, there's a lot of little details built into this game. Oh, look at all this food. I'll just grab the more raw stuff for now. Hmm... Okay, combat works by holding Z, and then you have to actually aim at what you're wanting to hit. I don't think I'm hitting him. Nope, there, I hit him once. I'm trying to hit him. Go away. Okay, there, we finally got him. Not really much in this place. So let's try and get out of here and look around. But anyway, um, a couple things. Like I said, I know I've been kind of meandering here in my commentary. Please excuse me. The one thing that's interesting about this game is it does start out very different each time you play it. So you kind of run into things that you're not necessarily used to. And I haven't really played the game a lot. Look, there isn't actually a survivor. Sometimes survivors can be, I guess, good or bad. Um, I really haven't you know, experimented with it much to see. So, I don't know. I clicked on them. I think they're still doing a lot of work in regards to that. Man, this place is loaded. I'll just grab a couple things and not be, good, not be too crazy about it. Now, that sounds like there's guys in here. And there is. Close the door. See you later. <laughs> Um, we probably need to find some place that has a bed or something to get ready to rest. Let's see if this place. Okay, it's saying I'm hungry, so we need to eat something. Uh, let's see. We'll eat the apple. How's that sound? Okay. Now, see, for some reason, there's. I don't know if this is a bug or something, but whenever I, you eat, you get naked. I don't know if this is some kind of, you know strange futuristic ritual where you have to take all your clothes off every time you eat but it's kind of weird <laughs> I've I've noticed this happen a couple of times I think it's just some kind of a weird bug or maybe I'm eating the wrong way or something I don't know um, same we got up here anything interesting some more drugs we'll take the painkillers now that sounds like a zombie is downstairs beating on the door, which is probably not good. Um, well, we'll take these sheets. And we'll try to sleep. Yes. Hopefully that works out. Alright, looks like it's still dark. I didn't get ate by zombies, so they must not have been able to get their way in. So again, it's sort of—it's got a feel to it of like an old school, uh, you know, almost like an old school sandboxy RPG type game, but um, you know, in the vein of say your, well, there's a better weapon and a lighter. Let's use that bat. I think that'll be a much better weapon than the hammer. Okay, um, but it kind of has a feel of a oh, batteries that those can be used with flashlights um, of like a Daisy, but but more single player and more you know old school RPG type uh, setup, and um, it's very interesting. And like I said, I haven't spent a lot of time, and there is a lot of zombies that broke their way into there. I guess I woke up just in time to run down the street a ways and see if we can get away from them. Trying to give a wide berth to all the zombies. And I don't know really know how big the world is that it generates. It seems pretty big overall. Um, let's see if we can run through here. No. I was trying to see if I could duck through, but then there's a guy in here. OK, 
Okay, I think I'm out of... I can't run anymore. My guy's tired or something. That's a big old apartment building or something right there, huh? Let's go in this bottom apartment and see if we can... Could have been somebody at that door already. I just saw it. And let's look over here real quick. My guy's getting scared. Another apple, nice. Bunch of I'm finding bunches of food. I'm not finding many other useful uh, batteries. Nah. Grab another one of those cans. It's weird. I, the game does give a pretty good environment too. I mean, it's um. These apartment buildings are kind of a pain because you got to deal with all the stairs and everything. Um, just a bit. Nope. nope, batteries in that table. See, you can find all kinds of stuff. Nope, another apple. We'll take that. Another battery. <laughs> Can opener. Another couple more batteries. I'm finding. Kind of the same old stuff. Um, so anyway, it's really this is one of those at its at its root though. This is definitely one of those games where it's not a matter of you know how long you're going to survive or if you're going to die. Die. Well, it's not so much a matter of if you're going to die. It's how long you're going to survive and how are you going to die. I guess is kind of what I was trying to say. Let's see. I just ate. That solved that. Okay. It looks like the close thing's okay. Maybe it's just the first time you do it. I think. Um. And it's daylight now, so we'll go out and do some adventuring and see if we can find a better place. Um, again, the game is currently in its alpha state. Um, they do do pretty regular updates. And um, you can only get it on Deshore now, but like I said, for those of you who prefer Steam, it is coming to Steam, I think, fairly soon. Uh, so you can always hold out and wait. And let's just run past this guy. Get around the corner and see if we can find something. Ooh, what's this metal door over here? This could be some interesting stuff in here. Oh, it's like a hardware store. Some more batteries. More batteries. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these batteries if I don't find a flashlight soon. Oh, an axe. There we go. We'll take that axe. Um, eh, I think you could probably. Doesn't really help time move faster, I guess. Like I said, I've been, I've played a very small amount of this, but I wanted to at least show it to you guys. Um, you can zoom in too if you don't like the quite the so far out view. Um, it actually play. I mean, it actually looks fine and plays pretty well at this uh, view as well. More batteries. Let's see. Ooh, more shotgun shells. That'll be awesome if I ever find a shotgun. Quite a heavy load carrying too much. Okay, it's probably from all the batteries that I'm. Carrying around. Pop. We'll just drink that. And uh, what else do we have that we probably don't need? Nine batteries. I don't need two pen. I don't need all those pencils. All right. We'll close that. Mm, nothing in the refrigerator. Nothing over here. So again, I mean, this is Project Zomboid, and you know, for an alpha state game, I mean, it, it's actually pretty damn playable right now. Um, I mean, I haven't had any problems with it as far as crashes. There's issues you can't really do much adjusting to the settings. Um, there's also some issues maybe for some to, to be able to get a full screen. You basically need to play it in a window because that's the, there is no menu or way to close it. I think other than uh, just closing the window. Hmm. Sounds like another alarm or something about to go off. Ooh, I will take that shotgun, though. Let me 
drop the... Okay. I found a shotgun. I gotta try it. Nice. I hadn't actually had a shotgun yet. That alarm system thing is pretty interesting. I hadn't experienced that much yet. Um, try and get away from here if we can. Let's go out in the woods. This is always the safe thing to do in DayZ, right? Run out in the woods where there's nobody at. Okay, minor pain. Let's see. Do I have... I had some painkillers, I think. Okay, that took care of that, I guess. And then we got too much stuff. Let's eat an apple. That'll help with that a little bit. And let's... Oh, let's move. How about that? Sounds like a good idea. My dude is getting some serious... Now see, and there's other little things here, like down here it looks like i am got some kind of weird visual display bug going on with some of the condition icons. But, um, oh, now I'm getting tired, so we need to, again, try to find some place to sleep. And there's zombies in there, I could see them. Hmm... Dang. Getting hard to find some place to sleep at. No. It's almost like they get line of sight on you sometimes. I don't know if it's more proximity based or more line of sight based. Quite a heavy load. Let's go in here. It's locked, of course. Mm-mm-mm. My dude may go to sleep right here in the middle of the... Let's try to get in this place right here. This looks like a good place. High exertion. I guess that's supposed to be exhaustion. Get a little bit of a typo going on there. Come on. Is there no door on this place? I don't think there's any door here. That's a bad thing, but there's a door there, so we'll try to... My guy is literally coming to a standstill. Is there a bed in here? Come on, please let there be a bed in here. Yes. Alright. We'll see if that fixes anything. Alright. So it looks like we're doing better there. So we're continuing to survive. Um eat some carrots and let's throw some chicken on the floor just because we can or maybe we can't we'll put the chicken in the drawer it's a signal to the other survivors that someone slept here so again I'll go ahead and drop it off there but this is Project Zomboid and it's about $7.99 on Deshore to get it on the Alpha. Um, I imagine it, the price of it is probably going to go up once it actually releases to somewhere around 15 bucks or so. But it will be on Steam soon. I believe they're trying to get a version ready for the early release on Steam. It's a pretty fun game. I mean it, it doesn't have any multiplayer. I don't think they're I don't know if they're intending to add multiplayer or not. Um, currently though I think it's only single player. And again, it's just kind of one of those games in the vein of, say, your Don't Starve or uh, any of those other types of kind of survival games where it's just, you know, how long can you survive? And it does have a lot of crafting in it in, in regards to crafting recipes and making different, um, you know, food items and barricade barricading doors and building things. Um, it has a lot of depth to it that they're adding into it. So if you're interested, check it out. Again. That's it for now, and I will see you guys next time in the tavern.